Hello everyone, it's me, Felicia Lazelle, your beauty, fashion, and lifestyle expert here on YouTube. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm gonna ask really quickly that you go ahead and push the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any uploads from me. Today, I would like to thank you for coming and watching my second video for my interior styling series. Um, my first video, you saw me style my sofa and my coffee tables for high impact design. Well, today you're going to see me style my dresser in my master bedroom for maximalist, effortless comfortability design. I just made that up right off the rip, okay? That's really my style. I am a maximalist, but I like for things to look natural, sort of indigenous earthy and just kind of laid back but a lot it's kind of like my personality so if you are interested in seeing this video keep watching i've got some really good tips okay so first we're going to start off anytime you style a dresser it should be practical for your usage, right? I have a pretty nice vanity in our master ensuite. I'm sorry, they're not calling them masters anymore. We're being politically correct and we call them principal bedrooms. Okay, um, so let's, let's call it the principal bedroom. I have a pretty good cabinet where I keep all my um, jewelry and things like that. So the functionality of this dresser it's strictly aesthetics. First, we're starting off with this juju hat. So I have wanted a juju hat for I don't know how long. And if you don't know what a juju hat is, it is a Cameroonian hat that is used during ceremonial uh, dances, celebrations, maybe weddings, different things like that. But it's made of feathers and it is has been a staple in interior design for a long, long time now. I've always wanted one, but I just never could bring myself to pay $400, $500 for a hat. Well, if you get lucky, you can score these at um, Home Goods. This is my second one. Uh, I have one in my master bath, principal bath as well. And so this, if you don't know, my principal <laughs> bedroom it's kind of a tribal nod to um, West African culture, okay? It's just a nod. It's not a themed room, but it is a nod. It's very indigenous, very worldly, kind of traveled, and it's just beautiful. I love it. So we're going to start with this piece to go on the wall. This piece just basically grounds the space, okay? It's giving you a focal point and it's just beautiful. So next, one of the things I like to do when I'm styling, especially consoles and dressers, is I like to group things in threes. So what I'm starting off with, this is probably the most functional part of this dresser. It's my kind of zen, home, fragrance type station, okay? So... I'm starting off with this really inexpensive tray and I love the faux croc finish, which again is a nod to, you know, nature. Um, this is going to go right here and I'm going to house my candles and my room sprays in this place. So uh, let's starting off with this pedestal. And you guys know, if you don't know my design philosophy, I will keep tags on and let things live in the space. That's what I call it until I'm sure that I love it. So I haven't gotten to the point where I've taken any of my, you may see some tags and that's okay. I'll remove them eventually. So this is going to go here. Then we're going to sit our candle on top of there. This candle I got from Home Goods. I actually got the pedestal from Home Goods as well. And this just really gives a good fragrance to the room. I light it every night at a certain time. Love it. 
Then I've got two coffee table books. And my coffee table books, I don't know about anybody else, I don't buy coffee table books just because of what's on the name. Um, I do try to um, be cognizant about the color of the spine, but it has to be something I wanna read. So um, there is this boho chic book that I got from Home Goods. It's called The Beautiful Mess. Love the design in here. And then I got this Hermes Heavenly Days book. And we're gonna sit those right here. Let's move this a little bit. Okay, just like that. All right, so on top of that, I'm gonna add just a little bit of greenery. And again, my eucalyptus leaves. I love these leaves. Um, you do wanna make sure that they're situated so as not to get in the way of the fire. So let's move this out a little bit. So we're halfway there. I switch in and out. Sometimes I have flowers in there. On a regular, I'm just gonna have some really good greenery that you can pick up at Trader Joe's. All right, so we're almost done with this little vignette. I keep getting caught on this dresser. Okay, so now this is my aroma center, basically. So now I've got my Meditate uh, diffuser, and this is a copper diffuser. And then I've got some room spray that I picked up from Home Goods as well. And I'm gonna sit that right there. And then just a nice little agate crystal. Or it's more like a, a geode, it's not really a crystal. And that's my first vignette, y'all. How cute is that, right? But we gotta balance this thing out. Now, in my design philosophy, I do not like a bunch of symmetry everywhere. There is a time and place for symmetry, but with this, I just wanted it to be a little symmetrical, a little thrown together, but still looked, looking intentional. So that is what I've done. So next, I know you can see this lamp over here. This lamp is also practical. because it just creates some ambient lighting. And this is probably um, my most used light source in the room. We've got two pendant lights hanging on the side of our bed and then we've got an overhead light, but I probably use this light the most. Okay, so next, and as you can see, I just took the uh, price tag off this. I'm gonna go ahead and sit this behind there, just as a cool backdrop. You know, you don't always have to have your pictures hanging on the wall. Sometimes they can just lean up against the wall. You can do this on a console table, your dresser, any kind of flat surface. It just gives a relaxed, casual look. And it's really on trend right now. So next I've got this really cool um, Capiz shell bowl. I shopped my home for this. Um, this is a bowl that we've had for years and it was in my powder room. I just took it because I needed something for this space and I'm gonna sit that right there. And eventually I'll probably get a few of those recycled glass beads and kind of just stack them in there. But right now it looks good just like that. Last but not least, we've got our middle vignette. And for that, I've got these two books that I love. If many of you don't know, um, I started off in college as a pre-vet major. And when I, my fourth year, decided I didn't want to go to vet school, but had I gone to vet school, I was going to specialize in large cats. So I love large cats. This book gets a lot of reading, a lot of rotation. So um, I'm also a plant mother. I love plants. Not the greenest of thumbs, but I be trying. So we're gonna stack these books in the middle for our middle portion. And then I have this sculptural detail because this is the master bedroom of me and my hubby. And then my 
um, initial necklaces with all my children's names on there. Well, their first name initials on there. So I thought that was a cute touch. I always need a place for these to hang. And I just thought, wow, let me bring these out of my little vanity area and put them on here. It just makes a statement. So, and then I also love that they look like a cross, kind of, because we're Christians, so that's cool, too. So basically, guys, that's it. That's how I styled my dresser. It's busy as hell, but it's relaxed. It's effortless. It doesn't like look like I'm trying too hard. It looks like I've curated this look, and really, I didn't, okay? I shopped my home for this and this everything else. Oh, and I had this as well, but everything else I bought at home goods, but I made sure it wasn't matchy matchy. I made sure it looked like I had collected the things over time and I am in love with this look and it was simple to do and you guys can do it too. If you need any inspiration, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be more than happy to give that to you. And also look at, you know, Pinterest, um, design magazines, hows. There are a number of different um, influencers on YouTube where you can get inspiration. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to com be share. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Bye.